Hi YouTube, welcome back. Well, it was going good, and then it kind of stopped where it was. So the compost that I was making was breaking down really fast and I was quite impressed. And I moved it down to where it's going to live, where I'm going to plant the corn. And it was going so well, I decided to just spread it out and leave it. Well, I should have kept rotating it, moving it, aerating it, watering it, because it just stopped progressing from where it was and it's there's a lot of air pockets it's not holding water except down really low and I need to plant in it today so I added a lot of peat moss in it because it's smaller particles it'll help fill those gaps and help hold moisture and I watered it really well and we're just gonna have to water it a whole lot and now we're going to plant corn in it. Now this is what it looks like after the peat moss has been added and it's been watered. See, it's still pretty chunky. It, it just, it stopped decomposing once I spread it out and left alone. It just kind of stopped where it was at. I don't even see worms in it anymore. But that's what we have to plant in. Now, if you didn't see it on one of my first videos, this is the corn that I'm planting. They are hybrids, which I generally don't like, but they were five cents a pack. So for five cents a pack, we'll throw some in there and I'll just get a better variety for next year. So even though they're two different types, I'm not worried about them cross pollinating because I'm not saving any seed. It's all a learning experiment anyway. And I am using the square foot gardening method on the corn, so I'm putting four in a square foot. And this is about a uh, four by six-ish area. So that's a lot of corn. Well, a lot of corn plants. Each plant is only going to have one or two ears on it, though. So it's really not a lot of corn in the end, but it's a lot of plants. We'll see how it does. As you can see, they're pretty close together. But that'll also help support each other. And now that the seeds are all in, I put them about an inch to an inch and a half deep. Now we're just going to water them in. Even though I watered it ahead of time, it really just moistened it up. It needs a good watering in. And it's actually not supposed to rain today. So we're going to water them in. Guess what I see? First strawberry of the season. Mm. Oh, that's so good. Mm. I've missed homegrown strawberries. It's been too long. Mm. Come see what else we're doing. Okay, so I decided to grow a lot of different beans this year. I got Scarlet Runner beans that I'm putting up the purple trellis. I've got uh, Chinese red noodle beans that I made the wood trellis out of, or not out of, <laughs> that I made the wood trellis for. And the runner beans are all up and they're growing and the noodle beans are starting to come up and I still hadn't decided what to do with the regular green beans yet. And then the lovely Miss Sherry from Two Family Homestead sent me a package 
with enough seeds to start a hobby farm. <laughs> so, I decided to add a few of those to what I'm growing this year. So I had just gotten uh, mammoth sunflowers, seeds, to plant on the end of this bed. Thinking that maybe I could grow the green beans up them or something, I don't know. But they're pretty and big. So I had just gotten them. And so I had a thought of, well, let's see what these different beans that she sent me are. And see if I can grow any up. One is, I know I'm going to say this wrong, so I'm sorry. Brahild? Brahilde? I don't know how to say it. I'll have to look it up. And they are very large, like the noodle beans. And purple. So those, I'm going to grow up the sunflowers. Now I didn't plant all the seeds, it's just a little packet, just a few. So I put three seeds, there's three sunflower seeds. Well, actually six, but I'll thin them to three, whichever ones come up. And I put three beans by each one, hoping I'll get at least two going up each one. So there was also purple potted beans, which I'm going to grow up my cherry tomatoes. Now, again, there wasn't a whole lot of seeds for each kind, but I've got six tomatoes. So I just put one by each tomato. And we'll see how they do. Well, we're going to stop there for today. Thanks for coming along with me. I'm trying to get everything done to do our garden tour, hopefully this Sunday. So thanks for watching. And remember, life's an adventure. Thanks for joining me and mine. God bless.